Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Zasa 5. My name is Mukudem Labo and I'm coming to you live. Okay, I tried to rhyme and I tried to rap, but, but I can't rap. So anyways, let me talk about someone who can rap. And in today's episode, we're looking at the genius of Holy 10 in culture making. Trends and hip hop are synonymous. The two are basically favorite cousins who are in tandem in everything that they do. For example, you only ever want to wear Jordans when you first heard Nelly's Stepped on My Jays, whatever song that you heard, or wanting to put a band-aid on your cheek after Nelly's Dilemma video. Okay, there's clearly a trend here, but you get my point. Uh, things become cool because our favorite people deem them so. In Zim Hip Hop, it's a little bit more subtle. In arguably the most sensitive genre that I can think of, no one ever truly gives someone their flowers for starting a trend because maybe you stay in the same hood or you saw your favorite rapper doing their laundry. It took a Junior Brown hiatus for people to finally acknowledge that he started the whole Hande or Eheka ad libs on tracks, or at least popularized them. And he's a legend. Which is weird because everyone likes Junior Brown. Or at least I like to think so. Uh, this is where Mugudzei Chitama, <laughs> aka Holy Ten, comes in. Uh, the strides that this young man has made have not only just been in music, but he's really taken his brand further, uh, treated it with care and respect, and he's truly morphed into the leader of the youth. He is leading the front in culture making by magnifying the language of the youth that he represents. Since his breakout song, Andaremero Holy Ten has managed to penetrate an elusive crowd which most rappers wouldn't have dreamt of, the skeptics. And he did it without having to dumb down his content or shed any of his authenticity. To anybody still informed too, everything you learn is not true. If anything you learn is no proof, then everything you learn is no use. Culture is dynamic. And a quick definition would say that culture is the way that people live. It's customs, morals, and language. I want to focus on the latter, language, and how Holy Ten, in incorporating unique ghetto lingo in his music, has further cemented his place in the urban music podium, Zim Hip Hop in particular. Now, this is not to say that he's the first one to use some of those words like Kunguava, Nguava, Kutsoma, Fofa, Fofa, Okuganza. I don't even sound like spiritual tongues, uh, but the way that he has woven them onto deep, impactful messages in his music has made sure that it cements itself into urban Zimbabwean lexicon. Now even low density dwellers can use some of this colloquial language without anyone giving them awkward looks. Because of the special talent that Holy Ten is, some of his lyrics have been dubbed into daily informal conversations. We now know I was a jeans, kunakwane gesture, or an dilibure desanyaya, kunditsoma kuganza, ndona kujgao sausage, anagamchirai, as a phrases which are interchangeable in varying contexts of dialogue. I was a gents, I see most of the family bins, I see most of the family kids, I see Nanya Kuna Kani Jess, and Nanya Kuna Kani Jess. I'm going to sideline my Zang, and I come Jirai, and I come Jirai. Text your father like one and a half bit of it for the joy. Them niggas high in the morning at six, y'all niggas high in your post in the pigs. It's really cool to see, and for Holy Ten, it helps when your voice sounds like you've never taken a single cough drop in your life. Not so long ago, it was Zim Dancehall which had this honor, and now the tide has changed, and the Zim Hip Hop is here to stay. With that being said, I've been Mugudzeim Lambo. This has been Zasa5. I do remember to subscribe, like, and share. We are on 900 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. Uh, lead us to 100K. Just 
100k 1000 1k so yeah man just hit the subscribe button make sure you leave a like there leave a comment there share it support us buy us a coffee send us money with the eco cash on the number right here or here uh whichever it is and we'll catch you again on the next one shoot